the stadium was down in 37 seconds. But thousands of people spent hours on the Kentucky side of the river securing a perfect spot to watch this moment in Cincinnati history. That means most only got a few hours of sleep. Get out of bed early. Get out of bed real early. But some didn't get any sleep at all. Yeah, we never went to sleep. We haven't been to bed yet. While thousands lined the riverbanks, about 600 people booked a warm spot on Mike Fink's restaurant. You will be able to see it on TV all the rest of the day, but you'll have been here and be able to see it come down in front of you. When the sun began to rise, the crowds got bigger. Boats started to come out. Full. Everyone anxiously waiting for this. <laughs> At the Metropolitan Club, you got a bird's eye view. People had mixed emotions. Sadness, thinking about things that gone on there in the past and the memories, but excitement about the future and, and the new ballpark. It was cool. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Yeah, just the anticipation was fun. Just amazing that they can take that thing down and, and not even touch that new stadium. We're part of the generation that kind of um, feels a little reminiscent about the stadium going away because that's the only stadium we've ever known. The owner of Mike Finks says he watched Riverfront go up 34 years ago from the death of his restaurant. I think it was even more exciting than what I had anticipated. Uh, just the impact of it, the, the noise of, the, of each individual explosion, and then watching it fall. And when the cloud of smoke was gone, people were left with mixed feelings. A lot of people were popping champagne bottles, all excited. It's going 